within one month. And this is a live look over Poplar Bluff this evening. We've got beautiful blue skies and sunshine out there. Uh, Katie is standing by for us and uh, Katie sounds like we should enjoy this weather while we've got it. Is that right? Yeah, that's pretty much the case. I also actually have a live look over Poplar Bluff because it is just a really nice evening out there. Got to start with one of our cameras. We've got blue skies, a couple of those fair weather clouds over in Butler County right now. Temperature is really not too bad considering the time of year. We're right at 83 right now. Lots of sunshine feeling a couple degrees warmer. It feels like the upper 80s. Dew points a little on up there, so a bit more humidity. Winds also out of the south right now, making it feel a bit warmer, but Overall temperatures are looking pretty good. We're somewhere in those low to mid 80s across the board. Harrisburg at 82 along with Carmi and Carbondale at 83 for Cape Girardeau. Been warmer down into Sykes and at 86, but still really not too bad when our average high for the time of year is about 88. Temperatures in the next couple of hours will fall into the 70s. We'll stay there until about midnight. Early morning, keeping an eye on the chance for some patchy fog. Temperatures fall into the upper 60s, but overall fairly quiet expected tonight. Into Friday, we see a bit of a pattern change. More of that moist air moves in from the Gulf, making it a bit warmer outside and humid. And then as we go into the late hours of Friday, early into Saturday, we're tracking the possibility for a few storms, maybe even strong to severe. And then that storm chance to stay with us Saturday and into Sunday. Not a washout, though. That is the good news. Temperatures right now into the 80s. Heat into seas a couple degrees warmer. Overnight tonight will continue to clear. We stay quiet. Waking up at 8 o'clock for your Friday uh, morning. We've got temperatures in the low 70s. And then when we get to lunchtime, we're right back up into the upper 80s. So one of the warmest days we've seen in at least a little while. Heat indices hitting the upper 90s. Heat of the day somewhere in the upper 80s. And then heat indices hitting triple digits. So very humid and hot tomorrow. Still should be fairly nice until after we get until after midnight. Cold front approaches and as it does, it brings this next chance for a widespread rain and then a couple chances for strong to severe storms across the region. So really got to be weather aware as we go into the late hours of Friday, early Saturday morning. Storm Prediction Center does have that two out of five slight risk in place pretty much from Mount Vernon down through Benton, Carbondale and Cape Girardeau. And that's because we are seeing the possibility for some large hail and strong winds as that front does pass. So storm uh, track three app, of course, coming in very handy here uh, just in case because it is an overnight system. So you really need a way to receive those alerts. Overall, though, Friday looks nice. If you do have any plans, just be conscious of those heat indices feeling like 100 degrees despite temperatures into the afternoon in those upper 80s. Waking up, though, we're in the upper 60s, a slight chance for some patchy fog. But look at that sunset time, 7.55. So we're really losing a lot of daylight as far as August goes. Actually, we lose about an hour, an hour and 10 minutes or so. So we're going to continue to see that sunset time continue to move up as we approach, of course, the next season. By the end of the month, I believe sunsets at 727. So enjoy the sunlight while we still have it and before that rain chance moves in this weekend. Most of our Friday will be sunny, maybe some pop-up storms into the evening, but really going to keep an eye on the overnight hours into Saturday. Not tracking complete washout for the weekend or for Monday, so good news for any of your plans. High pressure dominates Tuesday. That keeps us nice and dry, and I really think some of us need some of that dry time. Oh, I think so too. I, I agree. All right. Thank you, Katie. Thanks.